On this episode, tour guide and being a pro. Hey everybody, this is The Quarter Show again, and we're talking about tour guides, being a good tour guide, being and being a pro. And, you know, it's so, so key, and I don't know if we've talked about this on another show, it's kind of, sort of, or touched on it, but we've talked about it for years and years and years, and, and here anyway, and I'm sure you've all experienced this, but you know when you go to like a, some retail shop or something like this, you go to some retail shop and, and you go in and you say, you know, somebody walks out, the retail person walks up and they say, you know, are you, are you, can I help or whatever? And you're like, no, I'm just looking. And they're like, oh, okay. And then they go back and do whatever they're doing. And there's this element of like, nobody's running super hyper good control on you. Not bad control, not some like funny flow, but there's this element of like servicing the hell out of you and taking care of you and sort of routing you and running you. and 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 it feels so good where you go to an atmosphere and you deal with somebody that's such a pro and they know their stuff so well and they run you and, and sort of help sort of navigate you through and you don't even notice it happening and it's so smooth that it feels good and that you like it. And it's similar in, 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 in any sale uh, and, and we talk about being a tour guide and, and you think about these this idea of Let's say you go to some nice museum or some uh, nice event or something that you're seeing and you go and the person is incredibly educated, they know their stuff, um, and instead of letting a group of, let's say, 20, 25 people walk in and just scatter and go everywhere, they literally direct attention and make it entertaining and walk you through and steer your attention as you go. So let's say you have a straggler and they go over and they say, you know what? We're gonna come right back over to this, take a look here, and they just redirect your attention and move you where you need to go. And at the end of the tour, they're so educated, they're so professional, they service you at such a level that you feel like you really gained the experience of that tour. You feel like it was an incredible experience and, and, and they routed your attention and you really got every ounce of whatever that tour was, whatever that thing was. And and that is so relevant in, in sales as well when you, when you run really hyper control, as opposed to, let's say, calling somebody and saying, oh, you know, I wanna see what you think about this, and, and oh, what do you think, and then you throw the ball in their court, and you let them, you know, it's kind of the similar, like to letting somebody wander and, and just go all crazy. It's like, you have to run good control, which means you're calling and saying, I'm calling you to do this, and then here's our next step, and here's where we're going, and you're, you're directing traffic, and you're, you're directing the next exhibit, the next thing that you're looking at all the time. And when you do it really well, don't like it, it work, it feels beautiful. But when you leave it up to the prospect and it's just an element of like kind of willy nilly and they don't know where to go and they don't know what to look at and it's kind of floundering and you're like, I don't know, do you have time to sp tell me some times to speak or um, I want to know what you think. And then you're like waiting for them to navigate the sale. There's an element where it feels dispersed and it feels unprofessional, it feels like you are not buttoned up in what you're doing, you don't fully know what you're doing, and you certainly don't come across as a total pro. And a pro doesn't do that, a pro knows exactly what they're they are, uh, what they supposed to do, they know exactly what they're selling, they know exactly what the next steps are, they know exactly where to take it, right? And then they they just do that, right? And they just direct it, and, and, and the experience that you end up delivering on the sales side is so much better then the person who's kind of a rookie and just kind of like asking or waiting for permission or direction from the prospect, and it, you know, and it kind of just lacks these controls. Yeah, I talked to a fellow just the other day and just last week, and we talked for a little while. And at first, the, the conversation was a little stiff. I'm fine with that. You know, no big deal. Mm -hmm. And and I just all I wanted to do was do what we always do. We yeah. understand the problem. Make sure we understand it fully. Uh, make make the best recommendation. Walk them through how the problem is going to get solved. And how we're going to help him, and by the end of the, and just and just understood what he his mission and what he was trying to accomplish, and it was a great mission. It was awesome. Yeah. And so we got to the end of it, and he goes, he goes, you know, I've I've been I've been calling different uh, companies that make video uh, all day, just to like you know just just to get prices and get ideas and things, and every single one of them has been an order taker, and you're the first one that's understood 
what I'm trying to do mm -hmm. and is like like actually engaged with me. Yeah. Everybody else is just like, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, absolutely we can do that. No problem. So yeah, we'll do that. We can do that for you. Like, what do you want? Oh yeah, we can do that. Oh, we can do that. Yeah. Right. And, it, and, and I'm sitting here and I, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, of course, you know, like my thought is, of course, always we can do that. But like, what are you trying to get done? That's not your job is just saying, oh, we can do that. We can do that. You're just, you're just yeah. pandering. We better, we better be in, like, we, we shouldn't be in business if we can't do that. Like, of course we can do that, right? Like, but yeah. that's not being a pro. That's just pandering and being an order taker. No, and it's, yeah, it's like you have to, you know, there's a, there's a degree of smoothness to any professional. There's a degree of, and it's not like, oh, he's so smooth, but like, yeah. but like just sheer professionalism. So had it, so, so understanding your product and so interested in your client that you can just, that you, don't have any personal reservation about making a recommendation and about leading and guiding to the degree that like for example you know like um, here's a way to get the answer no uh, would it be okay uh, if I uh, was in that meeting with your CEO later can I can I be on that call <laughs> no no that's no that's good. fine I'll handle it yeah um, can I follow up with Frank and Sally and 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 get no no, the way you do it is you go, great, thank you so much, this makes sense, and so I'll follow up with Fred, and I'll get this proposal over to him, make sure he understands every part of it, and I'll walk him through it, answer any questions, and that's going to be the whole of the conversation with Fred. Then I'm going to call Sally and, and uh, make sure that she knows the pricing, so that as the CFO, she's going to need to know these things, and to expect it from your desk at some point later this week. And it's just, you just professionally say it. And, and to the yeah. degree that you're completely okay with whatever response you get is the degree that they're going to feel comfortable with you doing it. You know, I think we've all experienced this too. Like you, you come across the tour guide thing, go back to the tour guide thing. We've all experienced where some person just was had it totally buttoned up and their certainty was so high and they were so good. And at the same time, they had this high level of confidence uh, and they could just sort of assert whatever they were saying and direct you with the utmost confidence and different things like that. And that experience to me is so unbelievably fantastic. Even if you're buying something, and obviously buying, you know, people do the funny thing with money and everything like this, but that's a way to make the experience, just even the experience that you deliver on the sales side, the sales experience, the buying experience can become great. Like something that you actually enjoy. And to me, that stems from people dealing with a true pro and dealing with somebody who has this concept or has this idea of just being an incredibly good tour guide um, and, and directing people and moving people where they need to go. Not pressuring, not pushing. Don't mistake me when I say this. I, I, I never tell my team and I never want people to say, oh, we're pushy or we're pressuring. That's not what it is. And some people are gonna say it anyway. They're gonna say, oh, you're pressuring me. Oh, don't push me. It's like, okay, maybe if you muck it up a little bit, that's, that's how it's gonna go, but that's not how it should go. Um, I, you, when you're in the hands of a pro or a good tour guide, it never feels like pressure or pushiness. It just feels really thorough, really authentic, like the person is just taking where you need to go. And, and, and for whatever you're selling, product or service, if we're selling a strategy or we're selling a communication thing or we're selling, like if it Ben says a video or something like this, ultimately our job is to make sure I don't sell a video. I sell strategic communication. Strategic so communication. Sorry, right. I just want to yeah. that. No, it's fine. We don't sell video. Right. Right. So, <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt your train of thought there. But, sorry. But the point is, is that um, the mission is to get it in their hands and accomplish that end thing that actually solves their problems and do, does something rather than That's key. get all caught up in the sale and getting the money and uh, 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 and gosh, I don't want to step on anybody's toes and um, get permission and you know. I don't know, and, and I guess I'll just go any direction because they're gonna cut the check or they're gonna pay me. It's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> you know, be an amazing tour guide, be a pro, ensure that they get their problem solved, they get the right solution that solves their problem. That's actually super important, and as a quick note, because like, I mean, take it back to retail or something like that. One time I had a really great salesman who was very interested in me, and he came over and he showed me different things, and I ended up buying this weird Rastafarian hoodie wool thing with these bright, vibrant colors that I didn't like. But for a moment, he had me and I gave him the money and I walked out of there and I'm like, I don't like this thing. <laughs> <laughs> because he didn't find out really what I wanted. There's an extra element where you should find out what they re make sure. He's gonna wear that tomorrow. I, uh, this was years <laughs> ago, I, don't, I would never <laughs> buy it and that's not, no. <laughs> that's but awesome. I felt like, uh, anyway, I won't go into what I felt like, but it felt weird. So you have to understand what they're trying to do. I was not yeah. trying to look like that, but the guy was so 
he, he was the only retail person I'd ever encountered that cared about yeah. me enough yeah. to like be interested. So, yeah, it's, it's like you you have to be obsessed. You have to see that problem or, or thing that you're trying to solve and, and and take them there and ensure that they get there and 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 take them there and then and then follow up afterwards and make sure that the solution takes place and it's all happening and 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 I've seen people where they're like calling people. This actually happened today with one of our guys and. We went over it a little bit. He said, you know, I said, well, you know, he said he's going to call so-and-so. And I said, okay, good. What are you going to say to the thing? And he says, um, well, I'm just going to call and, 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 you know, and ask her what she thinks. <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay, well, is that, is that what you're calling? Is that what you're calling? And, you know, and he said, no. <laughs> I said, well, why, why are you calling? You know, and he's like, well, I, I, want, I want her to sign. Oh. I want her to sign up. It's like, oh. Well, why, don't, why don't we focus on what we want? We want to sign, of course, to get to where we need to go, which is like we need to get in production so we can do this thing and, and, and get solve the problem, right? Like handle what he needs to do. So why would the guy call? Why would he, he call and say, I'm calling to see what you think? You see how there's an out control point there where if you're calling, that's not being a good pro, or, you know, a tour guide or a pro. It's really like, I'm calling to see what you think. And from a buyer standpoint, from a process standpoint, it's awkward. It's like, what I think, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Kind of opens it up instead of saying, "Hey, Sally, listen, um, you know, it's 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 Robert over here, Richter. Listen, I'm calling because I'd like to get this thing signed off, and I want to find out what do you need to get this done. Are we already there? Is there anything I'm missing that I need to solve, or I need to fix, or whatever to make that happen? This is a super um, important point. I'd like to get that thing signed yeah. off, and if I can handle any barriers that are in the way, let me know what those are. Um, is there anything we're missing? You know, or whatever it is, whatever you want to say, and 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 it's a totally different thing. It doesn't have to be pressury, it doesn't have to be pushy, it's, it's you servicing in order to get to the end objective, right? In order to get it done and in production, get the exact result that they specifically need. Pain, keep in mind, sale, a sa the sale and pain, that's just a logistic move. Like that just is something that needs to happen in order to get to the fun part, which is, you know, for us, it's creating a strategy that helps drive their sales or revenue or whatever. And that's the, that's the act, right? Like that's the thing that we're doing. It's that that's the fun part. The sale part, that's just a logistic play up to that point. And then when you're asked for the money, that's just a logistic play to get to where we really need to get to, which is solving their problem, doing the thing that solves their problem, right? So you don't, like you want to run incredibly tight control to route them and get them to what they specifically need, whether that's you sell a CRM or you sell a huge enterprise thing or you're selling a service or you're whatever, like you need to take them there. And that's why as a tour guide, like delivering the entire experience of the, of the tour, it would be like if the person pays and they get their ticket, like you made the ticket or something like doing some funny thing to get the ticket or asking them or just being an order taker, but the event is the tour, right? And, and your job is to take them there and deliver that, you know, deliver that tour. And, and so it's like, yeah, like, look, if you're selling a car or something like that, you know, it's like, and in, in, in you've, you've talked to your, you've talked to your prospect. And it makes like the car that you want to sell them. It makes sense for their needs, and it makes sense yeah. for what they're talking about. Don't foot shuffle around it. Look, my opinion is that this is the right car for you. So I would like to sell you this car, right? So there, there are different logistics we may have to talk about now. So let's talk about it. Like let's yeah. let's have it on the table. Let's not foot shuffle around. And what do you think? And how how emotionally excited are you? And this yeah. and that and the other thing. Like all those things are part of purchasing. But like to the degree that you hedge. And sort of foot shuffle around instead of give nice, professional, positive direction as a degree that they're going to internally feel like something's weird, or that they they may not feel they have to hide anything from you until you start doing that. Yeah, and then you hand they over. They start to feel it and naturally respond. Like yeah. now they have yeah. to they have they to do this to do and, and, and keep keep it away from him. And you're forcing them to sell themselves as well. It's you're, a reaction. It's a straight up reaction, and it happens inside. And, and, it is, and then you're turning over the controls to them as well. To some degree, you're turning over the controls to them. And literally, sort of, somewhat making them do your job. Yeah. And it's from a buyer standpoint. Just imagine being a buyer for a second. It's weird. It's a weird flow. Like when people do that to you, and, the, and you know right then and there that they're not a pro. Yeah. And they're not steering you, and they're not taking it where it needs to go, and you're, they're not like being proactive in everything that they do. Mm -hmm. And so now they're calling me and saying, "Hey, Robert, I'm calling to, you know, what what do you think?" And I'm thinking, you know what? I'm sure you're a nice person. I don't have time for this. Like, I'm not going to go sell myself, you know? And, and so like bring something to the table or kind of like I'm hanging up, Yeah, you know? Yeah. And not to be rude, you know, I've seen it harsh here, but, but that's the feeling you get. You're like, look, I don't, I'm not going to do your job for you. You have something or you don't have something. We're going somewhere. We're not going somewhere. Otherwise I got other things to do. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And it's like the, the, some of the best salespeople I know, they'll come up to me and say, so here's what I'd like you to do. 
and now let me tell you about why, right? And then they'll yeah. brief me as to why, yeah. right? Or, or, or reverse, or reverse. They'll brief me first and then they'll tell me what they want me to do. Yeah. And they'll just flat out tell me. And the, to, the, the, the funny thing is, you know, you can go on the other side too, where if you, just, I mean, there's another video that we did this on being genuine. Right? Yeah. We did another video on that, but to the degree, you're, you're threading a needle between like hiding, hiding your intentions and then being being crazy, sort of like uh, genuinely, incorrectly pushy, right? Like uh, there is an amount of force and intention and sure. like, we're gonna do this, that you do need to put on the table, but it has to be genuine, it has to come from you and it has to be direct and it has to be like caring and it has to be all those things. And so to the degree that you go on either side of this, where like, you know, I just wanna have you as a client. <laughs> you know, like, let's sign you up What's today. What's it take to earn your business? What, what are we gonna do? What, <laughs> what, how, how sharp does my pencil have to be here, Fred? <laughs> there's that kind of craziness. And then there's the other kind of craziness where it's like, you know, have you thought about the proposal? Have you thought about what you might do? Right, there's that side too. Oh yeah, I've had a lot of thoughts. You want me to tell you my thoughts? I thought I don't like to spend the money. I thought that I don't want to spend the time. I thought that I could probably do it myself anyway. I thought that maybe I have my, you know, a, a, a kid who just graduated from college. Maybe I'll call Fiber. I've thought about calling Fiber. Um, I've, uh, I thought about asking my wife, can we spend this money? I thought about taking it out of a different reserve account. How many thoughts would you like to hear? They have all sorts of thoughts. They need direction. Yeah, they do. They need good direction, good control, be a good tour guide, yeah. take them through it, solve their problem. By the way, the push is, you don't need to do the pushy pressure. You just have to be obsessed with like the idea of like actually solving their problems. Just focus on that part and take them there. You don't need to ask about their thoughts or questions. If you're the pro and you already know the information, you know, you know what to recommend, you take them there, you know, it makes it very simple. It makes it very simple to just steer it there and then, and then you know, make it pleasant for them, but run, run a good tour, mm -hmm. right? Run a good tour to the end, end game. Okay. Hope that helps. Make sure to subscribe to the channel right there. And uh, if you have any questions or whatever, put, leave them in the comments on, on YouTube. You can ask questions there, comment, whatever. If you like what you see, hit the like button. And uh, and as always, we'll have more coming at you soon. I think this is episode 59, next one's 60. Nice. So uh, we're making, making good progress here. <laughs> Take care.